welcome back to my series on these homemade mini nukes so this is the super seizure queen from a couple of my previous ones and these guys are really building a lot of comb so i'm going to try these end bars experiment with these end bars the tricky thing with these is because the top bar is right at the top of the box there's no room really to attach an end bar so what I've done is just a strip of timber like that and there's a hole drilled right at the end of the timber and just slip it on the skewer like that. So these are five millimeter bamboo skewers and I drilled a five millimeter hole to begin with hoping to get a nice tight fit but it was a bit too tight in this scenario because the bees on the combs um, I didn't want to shake the bees off because that makes them mad more than anything. So I was just working away quite quietly trying to slip these end bars on but it took ages to do the first two so I ended up reaming the holes out to 5.5 millimeter which made it a lot simpler but then the end bars are a little bit loose but they'll be connected firmly by the time the combs all build out so there goes the first one the first frame with end bars so this there's a look at it from above it's just going to make it a little bit trickier to actually pick up those frames with my fingertips Grabbing the skewers isn't too bad, but those end bars are going to be in the way. So there's the second one. See, they've got cat brood already this hive. They're doing really well. So just scraping that side attachment down off the inside of the box there. They were just barely starting to attach to the sides. I've built some nice comb here so at this point I took the other end bars away and reamed them out to 5.5 millimeter so just gradually going through each one and you'll see these ones go on a lot easier but they're a little bit loose The bees will take care of it and connect them up firmly. This comb's really soft, so I'm sort of pressing the bars right up against the comb. So there it is with five combs in place there with end bars. And I'll just set a little foundation in the back there because I haven't not prepared to do five frames now I'm going to put a super on this one so just put that mat there hoping to prevent them joining the top combs to the bottom combs if you know what I mean I'm hoping they won't join to that mat so I haven't got the other combs prepared at this stage but I went back and prepared another four frames for the super with end bars and top the feeder up. I decided the pins weren't necessary at this point. The feeder sits in there fine. So yeah, that's the next chapter in this experiment and um, I'll keep you updated on how it goes. Cheers.